back everybody. We're um, going to make a short video today. I'm, I'm actually in the middle of making a much longer video on uh, how to properly bias a Marantz amplifier, but um, in the middle of that, the one I was, um, unit I was using, I uh, had to order some parts. So as soon as I get here, I'll finish that video up. But uh, I was doing something today and I thought, you know, I've never seen a video online that shows this. So I um, thought I would uh, give you a little tip here, maybe in a four or five minute video. If you'll notice, I buy a lot of capacitors, um, various values, whatever, but I buy them in bulk. Uh, if you notice here, um, got 50 of these, uh, 22 microfarad, 35 volt capacitors. Um, really good brand, the uh, Nike Con. Um, and they came in a little pack here. Um, but if you'll notice, they come on these uh, tape boards. And um, these are what are used in the uh, machines that actually put equipment together. These things get machine fed and whatnot. And if you've ever tried to remove these things from this tape, it is a pain. So I thought I'd just make a quick video today and show you how to do that. So what you need is, of course, the capacitors on the little strip. You need something that's not going to burn up, um, so you wouldn't want to do this on your bench top or a formica top or carpet or anything. So I've just got a 2x4 laying here that I use, and I actually keep it under the bench all the time. Um, got a standard heat gun here. I uh, don't know what temperature it gets to, but um, basically capable of melting your skin off if you're not careful. And what you do is you, uh, you lay these things down, and you turn the heat gun on. And you basically start heating up the uh, tape. And I just do half of one of these at a time. Um, once you get it good and hot, kind of pick this up on this end. I usually grab it with a piece of cloth. And then you grab the capacitor here. And they slide right out. Really easy. I can't make a video and do that actually um, with uh, both hands and a camera. Got to get some kind of stationary mount so I could do that. But... I'll show you the end result. You basically, once you hold that thing on this end with something that doesn't burn you, maybe gloves or I actually just use my t-shirt. <laughs> hold those um, and then these things slide right out like butter. Um, and then I'll put these things in a uh, uh, one of these little Ziploc bags. I get them, they're four inch by five inch, uh, two mil, um, two, two mil thick and uh, buy them by the thousands. And I'll label this thing uh, 22 microfarad, 35 volts. And I'll probably cut this little thing here out of the bag and drop it in there with it. But um, real easy way to get uh, capacitors in bulk. And because uh, you can about buy 50 as cheap as you can order one, um, it seems like. Um, so just thought I'd show a quick tip on how to do this. If you got any questions, just post them below and we'll, uh, we'll respond to you. Um, should be back around with that uh, video on biasing Marantz gear very soon, uh, within the next couple days, hopefully. Say goodbye for now, and we'll see you again next time.